Hello everyone, and welcome to my Extreme Fun Chunk Iron Man series. To quickly introduce myself, I'm normally a RuneScape 3 player, to the point that I am on page 2 of the Iron Man Achievements High Scores for RuneScape 3. I got interested in Old School through Settled Swampletic series, and eventually found Limpwort's Extreme One Chunk series. Some boredom, some encouragement from friends who are questionable influences, and the mighty power of aughts drove me to try this out for myself roughly a year ago. Limpert was just starting his Calphite Queen grind, which I knew would take a while, and I thought, maybe I can make something to fill in some gaps while I wait. I'm sure you can take a guess as to how well that's gone for me. So, moving on to the Extreme Fun Chunk rules, I am for the most part using Limpwort's Extreme One Chunk rule set. I have to do all of the highest level skilling challenges, all quest and quest steps, all achievement diaries, unique monster drops, unique items, unique mini game rewards, etc. And there's a few exceptions like prayers, spells, multiples of like runes for rune crafting, and roots and spirit trees for farming, and hunter traps for hunter, and meme drop rates. But to really put the fun in fun chunk, I added a few extra rules. And first off, I got rid of the spells exception. I wasn't originally intending on this, I was debating whether or not to do it, but as you'll find out eventually, it didn't actually matter in my case, so I figured why not get rid of it as an exception. And then aside from that, the extra rules I've added. Fun chunk man, have a random starting chunk, you just roll something random, because what could be more fun than not knowing what sort of hell you're going to be placed into? You also keep your tutorial island items, because that's more grinds to begin with, and that's more fun to begin with. Transportation, teleportation, caves, and so on are allowed for rolling new chunks, as long as returning to the original chunks is possible, so... If I can sail via charter ships to a new chunk, that chunk can be rolled as a new chunk. And if I can teleport to, say, Varrock or Falador, then those chunks could also be rolled as long as I have a way of getting back. So, more likely if I were to get, say, Lumbridge or Falador from a regular chunk roll, then I would have that teleport unlocked and other teleports would also become unlocked because I would be able to teleport back and forth. For production skills, all items must be produced at least once, so this is pretty simple. If I can smith bronze bars, then I have to smith one of each item. And all drop items must be acquired once, so... It doesn't have to be from each individual monster, so if there are multiple monsters in a chunk that, say, drop the same seed, as long as I get it from one of them, it counts. I don't have to get the full drop table from each monster like a certain maniac is doing. And the one exception is I can't use minigame teleports for rolling new chunks. Uh, only for returning to old chunks if I have already unlocked that minigame. That's pretty much it for the introduction. I just have one other thing I want to add, and that's that this is, for me, a first in many ways. It's my first real time playing old school RuneScape. I played the original way back when, but this is obviously a much different experience now, and it's also my first time recording, editing, and uploading videos, so I hope you will enjoy the journey of the Fun Chunk Man. With all that out of the way, let's get started. I didn't actually record my initial chunk roll, so I'm going to simulate it now. Imagine that all of these chunks were selected, and I hit the roll button, and what I got was... Melzar's Maze. Now, when I first started this account, I did record some intro videos about the chunk and my chunk tasks, but frankly, I don't like them. I also don't like some of my earliest clips in general, so instead, I'm going to go over the chunk and the chunk tasks as a voiceover uh, while those older clips play in the background. In the Melzar's Maze chunk, there are two monsters that are available to me. There's one singular imp spawn that is actually in the chunk, and so I have to kill an imp. And there are also hobgoblins that don't actually spawn in the chunk, but they spawn in the chunk north of it and can wander into the chunk and pretty far into it, so I count them. So from those, I had the tasks of, aside from killing them all, I had to get 
a wizard's hat from the imp, best in slot helmet. And that also means that I would have to murder my way through a horde of innocent imps until I had the combat stats to fight the hobgoblins. A real shame. For skilling tasks, I had to cook a chicken from the imp, and then there are also regular trees, oak trees, and yew trees in the chunk, so I had to get my wood cutting and fire making to 60 so I could cut and burn logs, oak logs, and yew logs. There's also a singular bush patch that I had to rake. There are some other notable features in the chunk. There's, of course, Melzar's maze itself, but I can't access that yet. Uh, there are boats to Brimhaven and Ardoin, which means those are chunks that I can potentially roll in the future. And there's the Remington Chemist, which will be important for quests sometime in the future. But perhaps most notable of all is... There's no bank, so I get to live as an ultimate Iron Man for quite a while, with the rare exception of when the Gravedigger random shows up and I can deposit things through Leo. And just in case you're wondering about the handful of gold that I have in the videos in the background, I had spent like 30 some minutes trying to record an intro and failing because I didn't like them and got a random event in that time, so that's where that money came from. There we go to attack. And a dead imp. Yes! There we go! Let's go, baby! Yeah! By the way, all of the footage so far is from back when I started in August 13th of 2021, so well over a year ago now when I was still innocent and hopeful. Also, somewhere around this point I ended up either losing or failing to record a few videos, including I think when I got 15 wood cutting and fire making for oak logs, but I think from here on out I will leave it to past me. This imp is taunting me. Twenty six fire making. Eight attack and four per. Finally got a raw chicken from an imp. Now watch me burn my hard-earned chicken. I knew it. Just got nine attack. Twenty-five wood cutting. There's 10 attack. I think I'll switch to strength now. 5 prayer. Oh, that last kill also got me some more food finally. The more of these I get, the sooner I can kill one of those hobgoblins. Alright, I've got another raw chicken, and I think I know why I failed last time. There we go. This one's gonna be a success. You didn't see that. There we go, nine strength. I think one more and I'll switch back to attack because I hate missing. And there's 10th strength. I've got a little bit of food here, so I 
think I'll try to kill one of those hobgoblins because there's a spot I can flinch in. And if I get a kill, then great. If not, I will free up some more inventory space for logs. Well, I tried fighting the hobgoblin, but uh, I just wasn't hitting often enough, and another one came along and started hitting me too, so I guess it's back to grinding on the imp until my attack is higher. I missed it, but 40 fire making. Thirteen strength. And as soon as the synth dies... Ten prayer. I have almost flinched my way to a hobgoblin kill, hoping for a weapon drop. And there we go. And it's just bones. Alright. Chicken attempt number three. There we go. Mysterious old man. Alright, it's a maze. Let's see what I get. And I got... Steel arrows, death runes, chaos runes. Well, I can't use the runes right now, but the arrows will give me a little bit of range XP. just got 10 defense. I will probably train attack from here on out until my hit rate against the hobgoblins doesn't feel terrible. Got my first random event mystery box. Not useful.
there is 30 attack. Uh, fighting hobgoblins doesn't feel so bad anymore because I can actually hit them, so I'll probably get back to strength and defense from now. Oh, there we go. That is what I needed. That's the best in slot weapon for this chunk. Here we go. Yeah. Forgot to record, but I got 50 wood cutting, so there's just 10 to go now. Got another random event mystery box. Alright, that's actually useful. And there we go, five levels to go, and I can finally leave this chunk. And there finally is 60 fire making. From here on out, all I need to get is 60 wood cutting, so as much as I would like to keep fire making for the future, I will probably be dropping the logs from now on so I can speed up the wood cutting grind a little bit. Just got my first Evil Bob fishing event, so that should give me a few levels here. And there we go. And finally, 60 wood cutting. Now I just need to cut and burn a U log. See how long it takes. I will get the log eventually. There we go. All right. And that is chunk complete. And I'm back with more voiceovers because when I originally recorded this, I was terribly, terribly wrong. Now, first I have to apologize because I didn't actually decide on the rule of collecting every monster drop until after I had finished this chunk and I should have killed more hobgoblins for all their drops and I didn't for that. I apologize. But here you can see all the chunks that I was able to roll. Chunk 1 is death because it's Remington and it not only has a shooting star spot, which means I'd have to get 90 mining with a bronze pickaxe, but it also has Puro Puro. 2 I said isn't bad because while it does have the crafting guild, I can't get into it immediately, which still holds, but I spend some time talking about 3 and how it's good because I want to get to the chunk next to it, but the chunk next to it has Thurgo, and that is where I made my mistake, and it's just terrible. And then I can take boats to 4 and 5. 4 is actually not that bad. It's next to the agility cape, but it's still not the agility cape, but 5 is still bad because I have to get my thieving up pretty high. And... Oh... Oh, that's beautiful. Well, here's the second chunk I unlocked. There is not much I can do here until I can get over to the Karamja side. 
All right, let's try this one more time. Come on, five. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, all right then. And that is how I began my descent into madness. And I'll tell you right now, I'm still here. If you want to figure out why, you can check the high scores. I was planning on adding more to this video and including some of this Remington chunk, but this video is already longer than I expected, and I've already spent more time video editing because I am not used to this at all. So I'm going to call it here. I expect to see more in the next week or two because I have a vacation from work soon and if you have made it this far thank you I appreciate you watching this even though it may not be all that entertaining but you are wonderful have a good one also I have used my incredible art skills to draw a representation of this first chunk in MS Paint I hope you enjoy it